Hello, this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and today I am going to do a student request which is a John Lee Hooker tune called Boogie Chillin uh, and I'm actually doing um, a lesson on a cover of Boogie Chillin by Hakan N who I'm sure a lot of you know and I'm going to put a link to uh, the video that he did of this in the description below because it's absolutely awesome. Um, so for this lesson you're going to need a harmonica in the key of D uh, we're playing in second position in the key of A and uh, before I show you how to do it, let's listen to what it sounds like. Okay, so it's pretty quick, it's uh, pretty frenetic. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about getting the timing exactly perfect. A lot of the phrases are quite fluid and, and kind of flow through the beat, uh, but you are going to need to spend some time working through them slowly and gradually speeding up. So let's, let's look at what the first lick sounds like and how to play it. So the first lick is gonna sound like this, one. So this is very similar to the, the one chord blues that we did last week, um, but it's not focusing on the offbeat, which is quite interesting. So you're starting on beat two, and you're playing two draw. So you're doing two draw, two draw, two draw, and then you have a beats rest, and then you have two draw, three draw, half step bend, four blow. So let's try that nice and slowly together. One, two, three, four, one. One. Okay, and that gets played three times in a row. So really get the timing of this. Make sure that you're starting on beat two and not beat one. And when you play along with the backing track, you'll know if you're playing it right because the notes follow the, uh, the way the guitar moves with the, the riff. So uh, that'll give you a little bit of an indication. Right, so. Let's move on to the second lick, which is a complete monster. Um, so it sounds like this, also starts on beat two, so one. Okay, so what that is, is starting on beat two, we're doing four draw, four blow, those are eighth notes, then three draw, half step bend, two draw, also eighth notes, so that's. And then we have a 16th note phrase. So 16th notes means that there are four notes played over the beat. So that means you're gonna to need to play them fast. So you're starting a two draw whole step bend, you're releasing it up to a clean two draw, you're quickly sliding to the three draw, then back to the two draw. And the way you count it is one E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So really practice that chunk, that little 16th note passage. And then there's one more 16th note passage, which is two draw, two draw whole step bend, one draw, one draw half step bend. One E and a. So I really recommend that you break that lick down into the three chunks. So you've got the four eighth notes at the beginning, then you've got the next chunk, which is four 16th notes, then the next chunk, which is the next four sixteenth notes. So let's just play that through nice and slowly together. So starting on beat two, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, spend some time building the speed up gradually. It will take some time, but you'll get there. You just need to not rush the foundational stage of actually getting it to play in time uh, slower. Okay, and then we move on to the next lick, lick number three, which is a little bit easier speed-wise, but you still need to make sure that the rhythm is just right. So it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so lots of quarter notes, so we're landing on the beat. Four draw with a little scoop on it. Four blow, three draw half step bend 
and then we move to two eighth notes, four blow, three draw, half step bend, and then four draw with another little scoop on it on, on a quarter note, and then four blow, three draw, half step bend, two eighth notes at the end. So that's ba 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 ba. Really think about that rhythm. Let's do that together. One, two, three, four. And remember, there's just a little kick with those eighth notes because this, this tune is really, really fast. It's about 160 BPM. Um, so you're going to have to gradually build up the speed on all these licks. Even if they're quite simple licks slower, it's hard to get them spot on when you speed it up. Okay, let's move on to the next lick, which is a nice response to lick three. It's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so starting exactly the same way, quarter notes, four draw with a little scoop, four blow, three draw half step bend, four blow, those are all quarter notes. And then we have a little glissando passage from a four draw, you're kind of wiring it, and then down to a bend, and then sliding down to the two draw through the three draw. So gradually speed that up. Okay, it, it'll take you some time to get it speedy, but the key is playing lightly and not pulling too hard and making sure that it's all one draw breath. Okay, so let's try putting both halves of that lick four together. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then let's move on to lick number five, which is going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so same kind of idea as lick three and four, that, that kind of quarter note movement. So we're doing five draw, five blow, four draw, five blow, five draw. So that's all quarter notes. And then a five blow, four draw, and you're quickly bending that four draw down a half step bend. So that, that five blow, four draw at the end before the bend, they're both eighth notes. And then you're just bending it down on the next beat on the four draw. Let's try that together. One, two, three, four. Okay, really, really spend some time on that and, and just feel what that rhythm is like. That ba, 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 ba. Okay, and then we have lick six, which is an absolute monster, um, and it's a good response to lick five, and it's going to sound like this one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're starting same as lick five, five draw, five blow, four draw, five blow, and then five draw, five blow. So the first four notes are quarter notes, they land on the beat, and then the five draw, five blow at the end are eighth notes, so they last half a beat each. So let's get that bit together. One, two, three, four. And then you have a half beat rest, and you get Okay, so this is another series of 16th notes. So we play a four draw, which is a, an eighth note, half a beat on the off beat between beat two and beat three. And then we get to the 16th note bit. So we've got two blocks of 16th notes. So two blocks of four notes. The first one is a four draw half step bend, released and then brought back down to the half step bend and then taken to a three draw. So it's really important that when you move down from that four draw half step bend to the clean three draw, that you release the bending position with your mouth and you don't end up with something like, like that. So spend some time working on that block. Gradually speed that up. And then the next block is the same as a block we looked at before, two draw, two draw whole step bend, one draw, one draw, half step bend. Okay. So let's just do those two sixteenth note blocks together. 
One, two. So starting on beat three again. One, two. Okay, and then let's add that four draw just before it on the offbeat. One, two. Okay, and now let's try putting both halves of that lick six together. So one, two, three, four. Okay, and then it just comes back to lick one again, and then repeats that three times, and then plays lick two. So I went through that really, really quickly, because you have the tabs up on screen, and you can go back and go through it slowly. Um, and if you click on the link in the description below, you'll get audio clips of me playing each of those licks nice and slowly, as well as me playing the original uh, speed with the backing track. You can also get the backing track and download the tab. So click in the link in the description for that. And then you can do something for me. You can give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below, and you can subscribe to my channel because I put out a new harmonica lesson every single Wednesday, and I wouldn't want you to miss out on that. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next week.